It's a rainy day here in Florida. We got a ton of baking to do today and we have a big farm swap to do tomorrow. So feel free to bake along with me and let me know below what you bake. everyone welcome back to grains and grit today is gonna be different of a video more like a vlog style so it's gonna be quite informal um, it's a huge baking day tomorrow is a huge farm swap that some people in our community have decided to do this is the second time they are doing it and I'm really excited to participate because it allows me to meet new people in our community I did it the first time and I was the first time that I ever sold my bread and it was quite exciting because I get to talk to people about it meet new people I sold out of my bread I didn't bring a lot so this time I'm gonna be bringing more loaves so we're starting early today I'm also gonna be bringing some muffins and I'm gonna show you a new type of muffin that I'm doing now if you've seen my muffin video I'll be sure to link it up um, those are strawberry muffins this time I've been experimenting with something that not only tastes great but it looks really cool too to be able to sell tomorrow so gonna be doing that it's also a Friday which means I have a video coming out today that I have to work on um, when it when it launches and then I also have um, a filming day we're gonna be filming my chocolate chip cookie video today why not because I'm wanting to make the chocolate chip cookies to sell tomorrow and I'm not sure if I posted that yet so if I have I'll be sure to link it below or up here somewhere but we're gonna be making chocolate chip cookies with 100% freshly milled wheat and they are soft they are delicious um, so I'm excited to do that today as well so that a ton of loaf breads uh, my banana nut noon muffin type recipe and some cookies so it's gonna be a hot day hence why the hair is up it's gonna be a long day hence why we're starting early so let's get started so first put on the apron for a lot of baking we're also going to take out the butter to start softening and let's get started on these first two loaves of bread All right, so it's another rainy day here in Florida. For those who don't know, I know we're the sunshine state, but just know in the summertime, not sunny. We have a full on wet season. It will rain every single day. Um, it was about basically a drought in May and then June came and it's been raining ever since, which I'm thankful for the rain, but still. <laughs> All right, so right now I have the first batches of loaf breads um, creating that sponge you can probably hear my kids in the background you're going to hear my kids in the background because they're stuck inside because it's once again a rainy day so we're gonna just be baking all the things around them and it's fine because they're used to it we had some difficulties the little technical difficulties with my YouTube video this morning so I had to handle that um, but that's not taken care of and we can focus on baking came outside to check out the rain then turned around and saw these lovely creations on the porch. Okay, so while I've been in here baking bread, um, I realized my children had, most of my children had gone outside while it was raining and were playing in the rain like a bunch of crazy people, but <laughs> it wasn't thundering or lightning or anything like that. And it's a hot summer day, so it was fine. They were jumping on their trampoline and and then they've also been building <laughs> they've also been building these I guess looking like dinosaur bones with their rocks if that doesn't scream homeschool kids I, I don't know what does so the sponge is done and it's time to add the rest of the ingredients to my bread recipe and knead it all up if you haven't seen my bread recipe, be sure to look in the description box below. I will link it there and also top right hand corner here as well. And as you can see, I'm just checking to see if I need to add some more flour, which I do before I start the kneading process. And just like that, rain is done, sun is out. All 
and the kneading process is now done so it's time to grease up my loaf pans these are actually ones that i got from my great grandmother and if you've seen my bread recipe this process looks familiar except one part and that is where i weigh my dough i try to make sure now that there is even as possible especially since i'm trying to sell them so here i am i just divide them up and then i just weigh each one to where they're about the same again these are large two pound loaves but they come out looking quite even So for those who do not know, this part, the folding part, is pretty much just as important as the actual kneading. So the way that I fold this is I bring it out to a rectangle, fold over basically in thirds like you are seeing right here, and then kind of roll and push a little bit, even it all out, and this gives it a beautiful shape to my loaves. So now that I have these folded and rising, I preheat my oven to 350 degrees, put them on top of my oven so they can be in a nice warm environment to rise, and then go ahead and get started on the sponge for the next two loaves. And now the tiny humans in my life are hungry, so there's nothing more perfect than slicing up some good old watermelon that they can enjoy on this hot, rainy day. Also a fun tip for those of you who have chickens, chickens love watermelon rinds and sometimes actually freeze the rinds and give it to them on hot, hot days and they love it. So um, we got the first batch done. Um, as in I've got loaves rising and in the meantime I have the next set of loaves rising or having a sponge for the next set of loaves I'm about to put these loaves already in the oven. They're already quite high and it's only been about 20 minutes That's the beauty of my loaves as they rise so fast So I can bake a lot of bread today and kind of have it as a assembly line and that's what we got going now um, had to break for some watermelon break had to give it to my kids and also, the beauty of Florida is, um, you know, you don't like the weather, just wait about five minutes and it is full on sunny now. So watermelon is great to have in the summer, help cool them down. And we're still going with the bread. No joke, about <laughs> literally about five minutes later after I said, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes and it will change. And I said how sunny it was, it's now raining again. So, yeah, yeah, no, nah, that's Florida. So we've had rain, it was full on sun, and now it's raining again. That's, welcome to the sunshine state. First two loaves are done, time to get them in the oven. They will rise even more. Bake them for 36 minutes. And I've also got the next loaves kneading as well. All right, so I'm back in here right now because I've got Betsy Bosch going and She's a little loud when she's kneading bread. Um, just to answer a question, in case you were wondering why in the world am I only making two loaves at a time, um, especially whenever I'm wanting to bake so much, it's mainly because I have two loaves down to pretty much perfection and it's they come out great every single time I do it now and I don't really wanna mess that up. I can put four loaves in my Bosch mixer, but it is definitely pushing it. These are large two pound loaves each. It's a ton of dough that is working. And anytime that I've done the four loaves into my Bosch, um, I haven't had the best consistency of the bread. And today I need a good consistency, especially to be selling the bread. And I probably could do three loaves, but I haven't taken the time to calculate to get it up from two to three loaves. So I probably should do that one day, but I have not done that yet. And so that's why I'm doing only two right now. Okay, so I wanna show here that I have 
these new loaves that are rising. I've got two in the oven and I've got about 10 more minutes for these loaves in the oven to be done. So I've got these that are starting to rise, these that are in the oven, and now I'm gonna start with a new sponge for these and let's get this going. So we're about to pull out the next batch of loaves, so loaves three and four. So I know I haven't done too much today. <laughs> I've had to stop and do mommy things, feed people, you know, all the things. But now, um, this is about another about 15 more minutes. Before that comes out, I'm gonna quickly just do a little outline for my cookie video. Go ahead and start getting set up for that because we're about to enter the sweet time of nap time which is when I like to film my videos. So we're gonna go ahead and start setting up for that. So for cooking videos, the biggest part is getting out all of the ingredients. Go ahead and get my flour already milled, putting everything out, making sure it's already measured. So it takes a little bit of time, but it definitely makes the recording process a lot smoother. All right, y'all, so I got things set up for my video. Now I just have to move this camera to where I want it and kind of freshen up a bit, look a little bit better for camera, <laughs> and I'll see you after I'm done. All right, so we got the video done and recorded. We got the chocolate chips made. <laughs> Cookies made. Um, so unfortunately, it keeps raining, and now they're saying that that farm swap tomorrow might be canceled, so gotta go check on that now before I bake about a million loaves of bread and then have to start giving them away to people. <laughs> All right, so we're getting close to supper time, but a long baking day. We're gonna do some easy today. We're just having some soup, salad, and of course, bread. So I'm actually making a potato and onion soup from a Julia Child's recipe from her Mastering the Art of French Cooking book. Um, love it, super, super good. And then just a great little salad, big salad, <laughs> to go with that. And then consume probably half a loaf of bread with my family but it's gonna be delicious, it's super easy. I can continue baking bread while I do it. So, on to that. All right, so it is around eight o'clock <laughs> tonight and I'm still baking bread. Um, come to find out, I'm gonna have to go to the store and get some eggs at eight o'clock at night. And I have like a ton of chickens and I have to buy eggs, this is ridiculous. So, I think it's either obviously where we have some sort of predator I think we're gonna be really checking that over the next few days to see if we have a snake or something stealing our eggs because we've been keeping them pinned up. We do have free range chickens, which, you know, it's um, normal for them to hide their eggs. Another thing is it has been raining constantly lately. So I'm kind of wondering if the dark weather is messing them up. But anyway, we've got several loaves of bread made. We've been working on getting everything ready for tomorrow. The supper was delicious, wonderful and easy, wonderful soup. It literally is just potatoes, onions, water, some salt, and I add a little bit of butter into it and then a good salad. It's super easy. So we're gonna see if we can go get some eggs. <laughs> I don't think a neighbor of mine has any either. Um, and then we're gonna get on to the muffins. Yay! Well, it is muffin time at 
nine o'clock at night, but it, it's all good. It's all good. At least it's something very easy. I'm going to be trying to make 48 muffins. It actually might be a little bit more than that, but these are going to be my banana nut muffins and I'm excited to show you how I do this. I do use the basic muffin recipe that I have. It's a printable recipe that I have on my website under grainsandgrit.com slash recipes. You can print it out, but I'll show you how I turn it into banana muffins with a little bit of extra stuff on top. Okay, so as I stated, this is my basic muffin recipe that I'm gonna be making, but at the end, I actually add in just four cups of mashed bananas. I actually had these frozen into two cup increments. So we're adding two of these bags, and it turned out really well with these frozen mashed bananas. Many, many thanks to my wonderful neighbor who happened to have eggs and she gave me a whole dozen of them so I was able to make this. But as you can see, those brown mashed bananas did not make it look weird at all. So here we are, we're gonna grease these muffin pans, scoop this out, and then we're gonna add a little something special on top. Do know that this recipe that I'm making and the one that I have on my website calls for 24 muffins. I went ahead and doubled that to make 48. And here we are adding the something special on top. And this is diced nuts. I'm actually using diced walnuts here, but feel free to use diced pecans, whatever nuts that you have on hand to go ahead and add them before we bake them. Now we take a little break to get some bread out of the oven. And then back to putting all the nuts on top. And then we're gonna put them in the oven, only need them about 12 minutes for them to cook. And then they came out beautifully. They look so cool with the nuts that are on top. Now I do like to let these cool in the pan for another five minutes or so. And here I am just using a butter knife to just get them out onto a cooling rack to cool down further before I wrap them up. And here they are um, loving this and they are so good. I just love the nuts on top. It really makes it look like a wonderful banana nut muffin. And here we are to adding the next batch. I only got these two muffin pans, so I got to do them in different batches. And these are the next 24 that are going in the oven. And here is all the bread that I have managed to bake as well. I believe I was able to take nine loaves total to the farm swap. And now it is time to wrap them up. Now I actually did have labels to print out, but I've got a new printer, haven't quite figured it out yet, and those labels didn't work out so well. So I just printed them out here on regular paper and I'm gonna tape them to them. And these bread bags I have below, I will link them below. These are huge. They can actually fit two loaves. I'm gonna go smaller next time, but they'll work for now because they don't come with twisty ties, but it, so they do allow me to tie them up like this. And then here I just add my label with my website, my name, the ingredients with just some good old packing tape with the regular printer paper. And now the muffins are cooled down so I can wrap these up as well. I was actually really unsure how to wrap these. As you can see, it took me a few tries to figure out the best way to wrap them. Um, this is just in saran wrap. Next time I do these, I'm actually gonna buy like the smaller tin foil type pans, put them in there maybe half a dozen at a time, and that way wrap them up because these just seem to kind of squish the nuts on top, didn't make them look as pretty. But I think people did really like at the swap to be able to just buy them individually for how many they needed. But next time, I think I'm going to just sell them six at a time in those little pans with some of that clear plastic wrap over them to make them look nicer. And here they are. I actually usually use this tiered basket for my eggs. So I took those out. Well, I don't have any anyway. Um, so I went ahead and used these and it looked great on the table to have the muffins all nice and stacked. But here are 48 of them. 
All right, so we're about to leave to the farm swap. They were saying it was like 80% chance of rain, but now it's actually sunny. And if you can tell by my face, it's about a thousand percent degree humidity. So just know Florida, we live in a rainforest, but I'm super excited. We got everything packed and we're on our way. So here we are driving on country roads out further into the country and it wasn't as many people as usual because of the threat of rain but at least at the very beginning it was sunny and I actually did pretty well this is my setup but soon after it definitely started raining about an hour and a half after it started it started raining and then it just turned into a downpour um, as you can see most of us had these canopies there are some people in that building as well and underneath the building but y'all it poured like crazy I eventually ended up in a puddle underneath it and I'm pretty sure the only ones that were really enjoying it were these guys right here they were loving the water they had a wonderful bath crazy here. <laughs> all right so we did it <laughs> if you can see I am wet because I had to break down in the rain it just kept raining but despite that I still did very well I'm still thrilled to do this this is just our second meet that we've done for this farm swap and I look really and I really look forward to supporting this small rural community in the future so be sure to check out the description box below for any recipes the banana nut muffin recipe all those things also my bread video below yeah. if you're wondering the recipe that i have that i use for the bread thank you so very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little peek into my life sorry for being so wet thank you so much for watching and have a great day